Welcome to Scout Talent Presents folks. In this series, we're gonna cover cycle time, right? How to calculate a cycle time. You are in a manufacturing industry, you are in a supply chain, you are in a operations. Okay, that time this particular lean management technique, which is your cycle time, will really help you. Added over here. Let me just paste over here. Cool. So process one is cutting. Cool. So I'll just remove a bolt from here. Process two is assembly. Again, I'll remove that. And then process three is painting. This is for an overall production time we are talking about, right? So they have to do a cutting, assembly, and then painting as well. So overall cycle time will do a processing time divided by your number of units to be produced. Now, since we have a process three, which is your cutting, assembly, and painting, then we have to divide that accordingly. Okay, which is your P1, which is your cutting over here. So simply what I'm gonna do over here is, I'll just simply just say processing time. What is your processing time? So processing time is your 60 minutes, right? So six zero, how many units we are producing? So total 20. And then as soon as I done, I'll just simply hit a enter button. Cutting cycle time is three minutes per toy. Cool. Now I'll go with the P2, which is my assembly process two. This one. Again, what it's saying? It's saying a 15 toys per hour. Cool. So simply what I'm gonna do over here is I'll say is equal to first. Again, six zero, which is my processing time. And then 15, one five, and simply hit enter. What we got? We got a four minutes over here. Cool. So this is how beautifully we are calculating this. And last but not the least, which is very important, the third one, third parameter, right? Which is your P3. We're gonna calculate this now. We'll take a pause over here and I'll check if you can calculate by your own. If it is, feel free to comment in below section. If not, work together and get the calculation for P3. Cool, no problem. I'll say is equal to what is your processing time? Processing time is your 60 minutes, 60 divided by your how many toys we have? We have 25 toys. So I'll just say 25 toys and then hit enter. So you got a result like this. So this is the overall result for your cycle time. This is how beautifully we have calculated a cycle time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.